What Leads to Diabetes Insipidus by Robert S. Nelson. What causes diabetes insipidus, or die, will depend on which variety of this disorder you have. Diabetes insipidus is definitely an uncommon health problem which arises when a person's kidneys simply cannot maintain water whenever they perform their function of filtering an individual's blood. The quantity of water typically is controlled by it, which is actually an antidiuretic hormone called vasopressin. The goal of vasopressin is to always manage the level of water that is in the body by controlling the amount of urine your kidneys make. If ever the level of water inside your system is low, your pituitary gland produces vasopressin in an effort to use less water and reduce the production of urine. However, for those who have dye, typically vasopressin is unable to properly control the body's water levels which lets way too much urine to get produced and passed out from the body. In cases where a deficiency of vasopressin is the reason, it is called central diabetes insipidus. Conditions leading to central diabetes insipidus. The most widespread causes are actually difficulties resulting from surgical procedures on the brain. Substantial head trauma that may damage the pituitary gland or perhaps your hypothalamus. A tumor in your brain that can cause harm to your pituitary gland or possibly your hypothalamus. In close to 33% of cases, no straightforward explanation can be figured out as being the source for this disorder. This appears as though it is related to your body's own defense mechanism wiping out good brain cells in error. What provokes the immune system in destroying those cells is a mystery. Examples of the more uncommon variables which bring about central diabetes insipidus consists of brain damage created by not enough oxygen, which sometimes could materialize while having a stroke. Cancers that move to your brain from some other region within your body, such as your lungs or possibly the bone marrow. Infections, for example like meningitis as well as encephalitis. Yet another variety goes by the name of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. In this type ad is created in the appropriate quantities. Nevertheless, a person's kidneys aren't able to interact with the ad effectively ultimately causing problems such as abnormal thirst in addition to greater urine creation. Conditions leading to nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. This problem permanently impacts the kidney's capability to condense the urine. Whenever family genes are among the contributing factors it is referred to as nephrogenic diabetes insipidus. Generally it impacts males, though females could pass the specific gene down to her children. Additionally, you can get it from several medications or even health problems. The most widespread cause is the medication lithium. This kind of medicinal drug is typically used to deal with bipolar disorder. Lengthy utilization of lithium damages kidney cells which make them not able to respond to ad. Approximately 50% of folks on lengthy lithium treatment will probably come down with this disorder. Stopping lithium treatments could very well improve normal kidney ability, though in a lot of situations kidney impairment can be irreparable. Other circumstances that may lead to acquired nephrogenic diabetes insipidus may include Kidney disorders Hypercalcemia, because of large amounts of calcium inside of your blood. A large amount of calcium may harm the kidneys. Ureteral blockage, kidney problems caused by obstruction inside of the tubes linking the kidneys and the bladder. Treatment methods. Therapy will depend upon what type you may have. Because central dyspides insipidus is caused by a scarcity of ad. Therapy is usually taking desmopressin, a synthetic antidiuretic hormone. With regards to nephrogenic diabetes insipidus, your personal doctor might possibly advise a low-salt diet routine in an effort to lessen the quantity of urine your kidneys generate.
It's also advisable to drink an adequate amount of fluids to protect yourself from dehydration. No one knows for sure what the causes of diabetes insipidus are. However, it is a disease which can cause serious complications. If you have any of the symptoms of diabetes see your doctor as soon as possible for testing. Article Source What Leads to Diabetes Insipidus?